Welcome to Any Resources third video on building a web game framework. Um, I want to do a quick video of just basically what I've come through so far because I didn't want to get too far ahead. Um, I realize in, in this video I'm, I'm going a little different than I have in a lot of videos as far as we're going to get into a lot of object oriented programming. We're building a framework that um, we, we can basically design other games from and there's going to be a lot more there's going to be a lot of changes in this video from the last videos um, and the last of anything that we've built so far. So I'm going to take it in the beginning kind of baby steps, especially around the object oriented uh, section of it. So I, I, I set up the database and I, I set up some database connections and I kind of want to go over them how they're going to work. So when you guys use this framework, you know how they're going to work. Um, <clears throat> basically, here's our index and all it really does is just give... Uh, some you know just outputs a little bit from the database nothing special but it's it's what it's the the code behind that I really want to get to I did set up a um, a, a database real quick it's, I just called it IR framework made a table called players and just put in a couple things here just our agility strength and and all that and then the reason why I used STR is because I guess strength is a is a keyword or a reserved word in uh, MySQL so you you can't use it so I used STR you will get an error if you try to use strength um, <clears throat> if you're PHP my admin doesn't look like this and you haven't updated your WAMP or anything lately this is the new version it's terrible I hate it it's all these little they tried to pretty it up too much and now it, you can it's just to me it's not readable it's ridiculous and I don't feel like uninstalling and finding an older, older version um, I'm not even sure if I can revert back to the old version so if anybody knows how to uh, shoot me a note on YouTube but um, anyway it's 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 pretty much the same thing it's just they've tried to update it and I, I think they crapped it to be honest with you but anyway um, so the the first thing I put in here, you know, the the one thing I want to do is I want to make it simple. You know, making new pages simple, making everything extremely simple. So I included a, a setup page, and in our setup page, basically it this is where we're just going to have all of the all the lists of everything. So we're not sitting there having to put this in in every single page. All we got to do is include this one setup, and everything everything from there will be built. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I include in, is the constants. And in the constants is pretty much the same, except for this. The, I, I made it to where it's easy to, to come in here and put in your own database information. You have your host, your your database name, your user, your pass, and just you, this is where you change it. It's all going to read from here, just to make it simple for everybody. Um, <clears throat> kind of sc scoop that up some. Uh, <clears throat> so that that that's that side of it. The then I have the DBO, which is going to be our database. Um, this is where all the the database is built, the class for the databases, all the classes for the database, everything's in here. Now, when you look at this, you know you may don't let it daunt you or, and, and get scared or anything like that and take off running because it's it's not that bad. It looks bad, but it's not. I'm, I'm going to explain it all really easily. If you don't know object oriented programming, you're probably going to learn it in this section because we're going to we're in this whole series because we're going to spend a lot of time with it. Um, so uh, it's not you you know if you don't know it, don't worry about it. We're we're going to go over it. Um, and I'm going to go over that in a minute. The The next thing I did is I just created a new instance of, of my database class and I'll go over that in a minute and then I include classes.php and this is where I'm going to have all a lot of the classes. The one thing I don't want to do, I want to make this simple and, and things easy to find but I don't want to have 20 different PHP files or 30 different PHP, PHP files that we're trying to, to figure out. Um, so I'm going, to, I'm going to try to minimize that yet still make everything readable. But the, the only thing I have here is I built a, a player class, and like I said, I'm not going to explain it just yet. I just want to kind of show you what, what I have going on. And then I just created a new instance of that player class. So <clears throat> let's start with our player class. Um, in, the, in the actual um, index, you'll see we're echoing the player's name. Um, and I'm going to go over this in a minute. And then this is what we've already done before with the strength and agility. And all we're doing is we're pulling this the, the information from the actual player class. So let, let's talk about the player class. I started the, pl the player class with, of course, class player. And everything in between these, these brackets here are part of the class. Um, inside of classes, there's, there's what's called constructors. They run, they're like a function that automatically runs whenever a class is instantiated, whenever you build the class. So in the, in the setup, whenever this code runs and comes down here to player, as soon as that runs, what I'm doing is, is I'm, I'm creating a variable called player and I'm storing inside of that this player object. This new, what it's going to do is it's going to come over here and it's going to create a new instance of this class. It's going to build it and then it's going to store it in that player variable so when when this runs when it says okay let's create a new player and store it here it's gonna come in 
and call the call the constructor and and basically that's that's what it does it just it runs as soon as that is instantiated it only runs once but it, it always runs that's how you, that's how you can make it do things in the very beginning without having to call a function right after or anything like that now this is a little different than than say um, the .NET language and, and the um, and say Java or anything like that. Most of the time, you would you would actually call the constructor the same name as your class, um, and you can still do that here. But everywhere I've read and everybody's been you know everybody for some reason PHP's got to be different. I don't know if it's just PHP. I just just what I noticed is that they 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 recommend you do this construct right here and call it construct. But you could come in here and call it player and it would still run like a constructor <clears throat> but and, and also for those of you who may go on to Java or wherever else after this that's one thing you're going to notice there's that construct is as far as I know it's only in PHP but it, they, it may be somewhere else I just never use it but um, th that's just what they, so when you see this I just want to make sure you understand that it, it is the constructor and you can use it either way I, it doesn't matter I originally went that way and I was like no I'll go ahead and try to be uh, try to be on the same level as everybody else so Anyway, so this thing's going to run. Now, up here I've defined some some public variables and basically public just means that 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 things outside of this class can access it. You're you're giving it public um access to it. The reason why I have to do this is because if I was just to if I was to take that out and take this this definition or the, basically this this if I was to take this out, I'm trying to say this this, but if I was to take this out and just just put in a um, an actual bracket there and and or the, the dollar sign and try to define it there. It would only be accessible inside of this function here because it's a um, because it's the constructor and and it's it's local scope. So we wouldn't be if we were to call class player dot and I'm I'm gonna say dot because that's that's the norm. I I, I don't know what you'd even call that right there the 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 pointer or whatever, but. Um, if I was to do player dot name, it wouldn't recognize name because name is only in the, the access of this local constructor. And and while this sounds confusing, it's it's going to become it, it'll be easier as we go. So l let me go through it first, and then we'll come back. <clears throat> when you guys see this right here, all this is is this is in place of the dot. So like a lot of um you know w with Java and with with C and C plus plus and everything like that, you'll have player dot and then whatever he does um, hit you know strike player dot strike may run a function that would strike something and n normally use the dot well because a dot is a concatenator inside of um, PHP they couldn't use the dot so that's why they're using this at least that's my understanding so that when you see that just think dot basically um, and it, it's just and it, I guess that's why they made it like that it's kind of like a pointer it's, it's pointing to the internal and if, if you notice if I come in here and I say um, player and I actually open that up you'll see that it's given me all the players um, now depending if you're not using Komodo or using something else and you don't have these features don't worry about it I'm just showing you that see how much easier it is when we can now access this stuff the these um, these variables inside of that player class so now we can automatically get to their body and their agility and I'm gonna explain the, the way I've formatted these two here in a minute but you know if I want the players agility well then I'm just doing that right there and that's basically like same player dot agility I want that players instantiated players that class of that player I want his agility or that number and that's how you get the numbers right there so that's what if you look up above that's what I'm doing is I have I'm taking that instantiated class and it's going to be the only one really um, I'm great I'm taking it and just pulling its strength, his agility, his body, his, his, his mind, whatever else. So think of it a lot the way we did a lot of other games before, if you watch my tutorials, where we're just where we're pulling the information from the, um, what would we do, player info, three, and then like, um, you would call it, you know, agility that way. Think of it kind of the same way. This is your... Um, this is kind of like your class reaching in. Of course, I know this isn't a class, but it's an array. But what I'm saying is, is you're taking your actual it, it, it name and you're kind of, um, you're basically just pulling out information from it. Is the easiest way to explain it. I'm trying not to get too confusing with it and go overboard with it because this will get a lot simpler as we go. Trust me. I'm not gonna leave you guys in the dark. But um, so anyway, what I've done here, and and let's start up here. So I've I've defined them publicly and so now we can access them um, so once they're 
they're, they're set, they're public, we can get to them. Now we need to set them, actually put some data in there, and that data we need, of course, is going to come from the database. So what I've done is I've called player info, I just, it's just a variable I created. This globals here, kind of don't worry about it. What it is is because um, I can't access it from inside, because it's uh, I can't access it from here. I have to be able to call on it globally and that's what I'm doing and so I'm just grabbing it globally and and don't worry about it just just know that this is the the DB connect which if we see here we have our class called DB connect and in the setup I actually instantiated a new class or a new um, or basically took a new instance of this class and put it into this variable DB connect so what you're seeing there what you're seeing right here is no different than if me doing this that's all I'm doing but because that isn't global because I can't access it because I'm inside of this class um, I, and, and I'm not passing it in which I could pass it in but it, it, we'd have to pass it in every time and I don't want to do that so I'm all I'm doing is I'm grabbing it um, globally and there we go and so then we have dot and then DB query so what I've done is, is I've this is the the instanced class this is the the instance of that class it's sitting out there and I'm calling on it and then I'm telling it okay now reach in and grab me the the function database query so it's 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 just like me calling that function but I'm calling the function of that class and I know for those of you that understand object oriented program I know I'm boring you to death but I'm just trying to keep everybody else up to speed um, and the next thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm pulling in I'm throwing in some arguments uh, I'm and I'm basically saying send it players, um, send it the all sign or the, the asterisk uh, where name equals halls and players. And if you look at, or if you go over to our DBO and look at our class, um, you'll see it's pulled in. It's just like a function, sending stuff in. Players is our table name. Our selection is, whoops, is all. So if I could come in here and change, you know, that to just name and it'll call name. This way, instead of having to do this every time, all we got to do is this and and we're done and and it'll all be stored into player info as if you can see here it's all being stored into player info just like we just like we would have done whoops just like we would have done here but this makes it a little simpler and actually we can, we can probably go a little simpler than this depending on the query but <clears throat> this um this is much easier a lot easier and you're always pulling for it, it it definitely takes out a ton of errors because i know if you're anything like me that's you get the you go to pull a table and it says could not pull th something and you're sitting there looking for that missing um missing something a comma whatever it may be and this way you have a lot less chance for errors you're just pulling it in this is all you got to pull from now on you're just and you're just putting in the information um and to give you a, what i've done as is, is table so it's pulling from the table, the selection, whatever you put in for the selection. The arguments are going to be, the, you can leave this blank like I did, or actually did I leave it blank on that one? Um, no, I put where name equals halls. You could keep putting in there, um, basically, where name equals halls, um, which this wouldn't be a good query, but to give an example, order by whatever, you know, order by descending, you could put that in there and it would still be all right because it's just going to attach it at the end. And then the last thing I'm sending is players. And all I did there was is because you want to, you know, a lot of people like me, I like to see when, you know, uh, the error and what, what, if you have 50 different queries going on, you want to know which one failed out. You just put in whatever you put in here is just going to show in after that could not query. And, um, <clears throat> So basically, that's that's all that's all it's doing. It's just passing players. So it's going to say could not query players, um, and then it's going to return the array that it's built. And it's going to, that's then what what it's going to do is if we go back to our classes, it's going to turn it's going to return it and put it in here. So this becomes our new uh, array, and then we're just, then now we're going to assign. Okay, this character basically you, you'll see this across a lot of languages. It's just saying the the current instance of the class. So this instance of player, so that's what it's meaning. This instance of this player um, is what you is is where we're going to sign it. So it's this dot name. So it's this so player this instant dot name. Bam. So it's going to store that in there. So that way, if you have let's say you have 20 goblins that you build a class and it's goblins and you instantiate 20 of them. Well, whenever you change strength on one of them, you don't want to change on all of them. So this dot strength is going to change that instantiated class and not all of them. Um, so it's basically just a pointer saying this one. Um, 
it, it, it's really simple. It really is. A lot of this stuff, if you've if you've never done this before, it's going to it's going to you're going to go, oh, that's what that means. Because we're going to get into inheritance and a lot of things like that a little bit later. But basically, because this is because this video, as you can see, is getting kind of long, um, that's why I wanted to do this video real quick and make sure everybody's all on the same page of what I've done so far. And I, it's not a lot. It doesn't seem like a lot. We haven't really done a whole lot. But technically, you know, we we have done a lot. The other thing I want to show you is I've created, and basically I just marked it out here. I, the other function inside that class I have um, on our DB Connect class, um, don't worry about this one. I'm still, uh, I'm just goofing with this one right now. So if you're in here, don't, I mean, you can mess with it too. It's not going to do much for you. I just kind of put this in here to remind myself of, hey, I got to build a, a, a function on there. But this DB insert, this is where you can come in and just insert something into a table. And I'm going to have a function for each each one that we use that and and you can see how quick it is we're just db connect db insert bam we just send everything through and um so what it's doing is it's grabbing grabbing the, the that class that version of the class it's calling on the function db insert and we're just sending those arguments and if you come over here to the class you'll see that um these are the arguments it's taking it's just like up here we're just sending the stuff through and you can actually take this out just to this out by itself and use it in any game you want and to make it easy I mean this isn't just to, for this framework you guys are more than welcome to put it in your new game that way you don't or whatever game you're working on and you can start using this right here in these classes and all you gotta do is include this DBO right here and um, the DB uh, and then make sure to instantiate the class but um, so as you can see it's a little easier I'm trying to make everything nice and standard to where we can kind of if somebody wants to build on top of this and make it better or, or actually kind of plug in their own version or plug in something like an attachment to it it can easily be done because it's all done through classes and we can it, it just makes it so much easier on us um, and, and just to show you like um, this little connection well it's not even really important that I show you because I mean you guys get the idea but um, that's basically all that is and I wanted to leave that there um, uh, I'm trying to see if this is just uh, this is just something I was testing, so but I was going to leave it there because it's another version of this this method that we have this function, um, and 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 I thought about some overload options to where we could overload them and, and depending on what you put in there, and then I got to thinking it's just easier if we just we just use these simple arguments to send stuff in, and it makes a lot easier on all of us. So from here on out, you guys are going to see a lot more of this kind of stuff going on and I'm going to try to explain it all but a lot of stuff we you know we can kind of skip and, and go through but this is kind of the basis of where we're going to go after this and I know we don't have much right now but this will turn into something pretty quick and um, we'll make it a lot easier for you guys to build your games.